Hey y'all, it is your favorite nerdy girl here, Nerdy Girl Reviews, and we are back with another gift basking idea. <laughs> gift basking, Mother's Day extravaganza. Um, so I think I've given enough ideas and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed these videos. So this might be an actual quick video, but just wanted to show you um, my last um creative build-ups if you can say for a presentation on the day on mother's day um if you're serving your special loved one breakfast in bed or brunch or lunch and you want to surprise them i'd say i would really suggest to do it in the early morning when they least expect it and just call them in and then they see all this good stuff <laughs> so like I've mentioned my Mother's Day card and you can actually place and say a bouquet or leave out and, uh, as part of the presentation on the table along with the breakfast and your greeting um as you already know my two balloons which I've showcased before uh, I will link my other past videos in this video or in the description box down below if you're interested and uh these are really adorable actually these are from walgreens and um they come with everything the cellophane so depending on if you pick it up now or later but thankfully yeah, it does not provide a vase i the vase is a vase that i've had but um again you can rope around your balloon it has this really nice glittery beautiful um wooden um i can't think of the word right now <laughs> skewer skewer maybe it says mom has this lovely glitter uh, attachment adornment to the bouquet and I have some pretty uh, yellow flowers and some lilies that are uh, now blossoming with the powder that they all provide right to maintain the, the actual flowers for the day of and you can pair it nicely with a nice I thought it complimented the white one complimented this particular palette and then the Mother's Day pink one, the traditional one with some lovely red roses, really nice. Um, now I've done these, uh, this type of packaging before for like birthdays, but tell me that you see a bl beautiful blue little box, turquoise little block box and don't think of Tiffany's, breakfast at Tiffany's. So actually the top came like this, the bottom didn't, I spray painted the bottom and tell me that that doesn't look near identical now you can actually use your makeup i've actually uh stored some of the cuties that and remember i'm doing this all by myself so <laughs> and no pause button but i just wanted to showcase that if you have a mom that's interested in like makeup and whatnot you can place some of the items inside and this is like your travel kit and you put it in here i can't really get the the zipper too wide open but you can see see some of the trinkets of nice new lovely colors and collection that i have picked up at dollar tree you can place them in the box or put just the makeup bag in the box cover it up with some cellophane or some tissue paper um and also my bejeweled uh headband that i picked up the other day from the dollar tree as well uh, you can make your special loved one feel like a queen, <clears throat> feel very special, uh, a stay in spa, or just have them wear it like, you know, almost like a crown. Very cute. I just love these jewels. And so I thought that was cute. And you can add it on to anything, a basket or a mug like you see here, this incredibly cute mug that also I think is uh, provided by Walgreens. You can find these now at Target and CVS, best mom ever. And it comes with this little card and you can add like chocolates to it, flowers to it if you want, really cute. Or you could just leave it as is and it, it looks so cute and it complements any table. But I added that little headband to it. And lastly, another basket, another Easter basket, but again, pastels are really cute for things like this, like this type of season. Um, so I've added some chocolate, some lint chocolate, some of my favorite chocolates, and my loved one's ch uh, favorites, milk chocolate and white chocolate, as you can see. And 
and you can just add on a little bow actually this is a hair tie but tell me that doesn't look cute as a bow that's really cute but Tyler tree also provides a number a variety of bows that you can add to a gift bag or a basket and uh, again you can also like I mentioned it doesn't have to be necessarily for Mother's Day it can also be a birthday gift idea remember I bought this sash uh, and it says it's a sash band roll and it says uh, birthday queen and you can add it to your basket with a number of other little things little trinkets you want to put on the side remember guys cellophane is your friend the gift basket bags uh to pack unit and, and you can see the instructions and you can just place your pack your basket inside the cellophane wrap it up put a nice pretty little bow and you have a beautiful setup for anything a professional setting if you're gifting this as a business this is part of your business or you're gifting this is just you know a lovely gift for your loved one there you go so i hope you've liked this brief video and have enjoyed my ideas also another tip guys uh and a great way to revitalize your flowers also is obviously clean <laughs> your your vases and uh your flower vases vases and the pouch that is provided you can put a small portion but make sure you cut those stems tulips you can leave flat but uh, roses you want to cut like at an angle like almost julienne like you would julienne um, uh, vegetables as you're cooking them so just a little quick tidbit if you're interested in revitalizing your flowers if you know say you get your flowers a little earlier than most because let's be honest flowers on the day of is a little bit pricey so just to keep in mind if you are trying to save a coin but you also want your flowers to look very pretty and presentable the day of mother's day and with that, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed my videos. <laughs> if you like these tips and tricks or idea, gift basket ideas, let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Are these videos that you would be interested in seeing? Please let me know. I, I, would, uh, I would love to oblige. Also, I'm thinking of maybe trying, on, trying a few of the products that I've bought from Dollar Tree so that you can see if it's worth the $1.25. And I'm also thinking of opening a Patreon. If you would like to tip me, that would be great. Also, I have a GoFundMe currently uh, active, and I will link the description. I will live link <laughs> the disc I will link the GoFundMe in the description box below. Sometimes I'm just talking a mile a minute, so <laughs> please excuse that. Nonetheless. If you like what you see, give us a like, give us a share, leave us a comment down below. Do you love these ideas? Are these things that these items that you would be considering buying for your own loved one for Mother's Day? If you like my videos, hit the subscription button and the notification button so you can be alerted of my next video, my next DIY, unboxing, gift basket idea, uh, and review, which I have to get back to. And until next time, y'all, XOXO, nerdy girl, bye. Happy Mother's Day, bye. Feliz Dia de los Padres. <laughs>